Well, it's called the Criminal Justice Coordinating Committee, and members have helped implement new programs such as the Crisis Stabilization Unit and separate courts for veterans and drunk drivers. But right now, the jail here is still overcrowded, and the sheriff says it could mean adding more space. The goal is to keep the people safe and keep the people locked up that need to be locked up, but those that we can uh, use alternative sentencing for or, or even alternative courts, I think uh, that's the, the, the direction we're trying to go. The sheriff says just a few years ago, the Sebastian County Detention Center was in a crisis, often having more than 500 people in jail when it was designed to only hold 356 people. Well, that means that they have a mattress on the floor. It's a strain on the community. So bottom line is if we have more people than we have beds, certainly jail is not a comfortable place to be. But now you're going to put a mattress on the floor and say this is where you're going to sleep. Recent efforts like no cost signature bonds and home monitoring have helped reduce overcrowding, but it's still a problem. And the reality is if we have 380 people in a in a facility designed for 356 were overcrowded. The sheriff says the Criminal Justice Coordinating Committee, made up of judges, attorneys, police, and deputies, has been studying the best ways to manage the criminal justice system in the county. But despite all the new measures and programs in place, the sheriff says Sebastian County will eventually need more jail space, and it'll have to be funded by taxpayers. We certainly will have to have an increase at some point in the future. That seems to be the nature of, of what we do if we look around the country, look around the state. Uh, what we're going to try and do, though, is look at all every alternative, make sure we're doing everything we can not to have to do that. That is the last resort. And the sheriff says about a quarter of the inmates being housed here are waiting for their, their day in court, and they've not paid to bond out of jail. Now, the sheriff says when the new crime lab in northwest Arkansas opens up, that it should help with overcrowding by getting inmates to their trial faster. Live in Fort Smith, Brett Raines, 4029 News.